The question says to find the domain vertical and horizontal asymptotes for f of x is equal to 1 minus 5x is in the numerator, divided by 1 plus 2x is in the denominator. Now what I would first start to do is to write this fraction in descending order. So look at the numerator. We have f of x equals, I would write negative 5x first, plus 1, and then divided by 2x plus 1 in the denominator. This way we have it written, the numerator is in descending order, and the denominator is also written in descending order. Now in order to look at the domain, the domain are all of the values for which of x for which uh, makes the equation defined. Now the only way that this equation would be undefined is where the denominator here would we get 0, because we can't have a number on top divided by zero that would make it undefined. So for the domain, we can look at all things except what would make the denominator zero. Well, in order to make the denominator zero, we can set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. So we set 2x plus 1 equals zero. If we subtract 1 from both sides, we get 2x equal negative 1 and then divide by 2 to isolate x by itself which would give us x equals negative one half. So that would be the case where it would make x undefined. So this x value would make f of x undefined. So the domain is just saying, well, what would make everything work? Or what would make everything defined? Well, we can write it in two ways. Well, the domain can be written in set builder notation. And that is, the domain then would be x such that x is not equal to negative one-half, because remember, negative one-half would make the equation undefined. So everything else would mean such that we don't have negative one-half. Or what we could do is write it, the domain in interval notation. And in interval notation, we would have uh, negative infinity, we use a soft bracket because we're not including negative infinity, it's not a real number, up to negative one-half, and we're not including one, negative one-half, so we use a soft bracket, and then we're going to union that with negative one-half, again it's a soft bracket because we're not including it, all the way to positive infinity. So it means all the values from negative infinity to positive infinity, except that of negative one-half, because we have a soft bracket for that. So those are the domain. That's the domain. Now we can look at the vertical asymptote, and actually we've already figured it out. And the vertical asymptote is where the equation is undefined. Well, we've already said where the equation was undefined when we set the denominator equal to zero. So always define a vertical asymptote, take the denominator, set it equal to zero, and solve. Now doing this, we found x was equal to negative one-half. So that's the vertical asymptote at x equals negative one-half, so it's a vertical line. Now in order to find a horizontal asymptote, we have to look at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. Well, the degree of the numerator is, if we go back up to the equation, we have negative 5x plus 1 in the numerator, so the numerator's degree is 1 because it's x to the first power. So the degree of the numerator is 1, and the degree of the denominator is also 1 because it's like x raised to the first power, that's the highest degree term. So that because of the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then our horizontal asymptote is written such that y is equal to the leading term coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading term coefficient of the denominator. So that's how we get y equals negative 5 halves. And that's a horizontal line through y equals negative 5 halves.